Hello friends, welcome back to our channel for Tech 360. In this video, we have solved some important MCQs for Kerala PSE Food Safety Officer Exam Unit 1 Food Technology Topic Heat Processing. So watch the video till end. Without any further delay, let's get started. Question number 1. What is the primary purpose of heat processing in food preservation? Options A. To add flavor to food B. To enhance color C. To kill or inactivate microorganisms D. To add nutrients Correct answer C. To kill or inactivate microorganisms Question number 2 Which of the following heat processing methods uses temperature above 100 degrees Celsius under high pressure? Options A. Pasteurization B. Sterilization C. Blanching D. Drying Correct answer B. Sterilization Question number 3 Which method of heat processing is used primarily to prepare fruits and vegetables for freezing by deactivating enzymes? Options A. Blanching B. Pasteurization C. Sterilization D. Canning Correct answer A. Blanching Question number 4 In which heat processing technique are temperature typically maintained at 60 to 85 degrees Celsius for a short duration? Options A. Pasteurization B. Canning C. Drying D. Freezing Correct answer A. Pasteurization Question number 5 what effect does heat processing generally have on the nutrient content of food? Options A. Increases all nutrients B. Reduces or degrades some nutrients C. Has no effect on nutrients D. Only increases vitamin content Correct answer B. Reduces or degrades some nutrients Question number 6. Which of these is not a common form of heat processing options a blanching b canning c fermentation d pasteurization correct answer c fermentation question number seven which microorganism is of particular concern in canned foods and is targeted through heat processing options a escherichia coli b salmonella c clostridium botulinum D. Listeria monocytogenes Correct answer C. Clostridium botulinum Question number 8 Ultra high temperature processing is most commonly used for Options A. Canned goods B. Pasteurized milk C. Shelf stable milk and dairy products D. Fermented products Correct answer C. Shelf stable milk and dairy products. Question number 9. Which of the following is a benefit of using dry heat processing methods like roasting or baking? Options A. Increased moisture retention. B. Development of unique flavors and textures. C. Reduced cooking time for all foods. D. Preservation of all heat sensitive nutrients. Correct answer b development of unique flavors and textures question number 10 which heat processing technique combines both heat and pressure to ensure food safety and is commonly used for meat and fish products options a sterilization b sovide c drying d high pressure pressurization correct answer d hpp High Pressure Pasteurization Kerala PSC Food Safety Officer Exam in UND Food Tech 360 You have test series and study material course launch in this course You have the syllabus program topic wise test series syllabus program short notes standard reference ebooks previous year question paper with answer key mock test This is the test series You can attend unlimited times attend You can attend the phone, the desktop, the laptop You can attend the laptop this e course is available on Foodtech 360 and Android app. Aane. So, now you can download Google Play Store the Foodtech 360 app. Preparation start. App download the link in the description. Aane. 
നിങ്ങൾ ഒരു ഐഫോൺ ഓർ ഐ ഒ എസ് യൂസർ ആണെങ്കിൽ ഈ വീഡിയോയുടെ ഡിസ്ക്രിപ്ഷനിൽ കൊടുത്തിട്ടുള്ള പ്രൊസീജിയർ ഫോളോ ചെയ്ത് ആപ്പ് ആക്സസ് ചെയ്യുക കേരള എഫ് എസ് ഒ എന്ന കൂപ്പൺ കോഡിലൂടെ നിങ്ങൾക്ക് സ്പെഷ്യൽ ഡിസ്കൗണ്ട് ലഭിക്കുന്നതാണ് ഈ കോഴ്സിനെ കുറിച്ചോ എക്സാമിനെ കുറിച്ചോ എന്തെങ്കിലും ഡൗട്ട് ഉണ്ടെങ്കിൽ ഈ കാണുന്ന വാട്സപ്പ് നമ്പറിൽ കോൺടാക്ട് ചെയ്യുക കോഴ്സിനെ കുറിച്ചുള്ള കംപ്ലീറ്റ് ഡീറ്റെയിൽസ് ഈ വീഡിയോയുടെ ഡിസ്ക്രിപ്ഷനിൽ അവൈലബിൾ ആണ് സൊ ദാറ്റ്സ് ഓൾ ഫോർ ദിസ് വീഡിയോ ഡോൺ ഫോർ ഗെറ്റ് സബ്സ്ക്രൈബ് ടു അവർ ചാനൽ ഫുട്ടെ